Welcome to Enjoy English. I'm Alice. 大家好，我是 Bernice. And today we're back with day two of the sinking of the Titanic from the Just So You Know unit. 没错，我们今天要进入到第二天的课程。一样，我们要讲到这个悲剧呢，就是铁达尼号沉没的这个事件。As we talked about yesterday, there are a lot of lessons that we can learn from the worst disaster in ship history. We could say. 没错，所以在这个船的历史上面呢，一曾经呢造成过这样的灾难。但是我们人类呢，可以从错误之中去学习到很多东西。Mm -hmm. So let's find out more about that today. The sinking of the Titanic. Five days into its first voyage, the Titanic crashed into a large iceberg. Five sections of the hull filled up with water, and the ship started sinking. Sadly, there weren't enough lifeboats for everyone to escape. Over 1,500 died as the Titanic slowly sunk into the icy waters below. Only about 700 passengers survived. The disaster shocked people. And made them question the relationship between humans and technology. Investigations were conducted to figure out why this tragedy happened. This led to engineering improvements and new safety laws. However, researchers realized they couldn't eliminate one risk factor: human error. In the case of the Titanic, the captain's unwise decision to travel through an area filled with icebergs led to the disaster. Over 100 years later, we are still learning painful lessons from the Titanic: oil spills, nuclear accidents, and space shuttle explosions have all been caused by simple mistakes. As in the case of the Titanic, these advanced technologies. Gave people the false belief that they couldn't fail. As a result, they were not able to avoid the disaster. The Titanic tragedy is still a reminder that no matter how impressive a technology is, poor decision making or planning can still lead to horrible consequences. All right, let's start with paragraph one. So we have five days into its first voyage, the Titanic crashed into a large iceberg. So when you crash into something, basically means you collide with something or you run into something. So for example, you could, a car could crash into another car, or a person going too fast could. Crash into another person. You collide with them or accidentally hit them. 没错，所以刚刚老师补充的这个 crash， 我们用的介系词是 into， 因为你是这样嘣撞进去，所以你会。呃，其实表面是有一个进入的这样的一个动作。那如果你用的是 collide， c o l l i d e， 那这时候你要用的是 with， 好，就是撞上这个东西。好啦。其实呢，就在他的首航，也不过过了五天呐、啊，哈、啊，就像开开开了五天之后呢，各位电影的画面就浮现了，发生什么事？那个呃，守船员就说 iceberg，OK，、okay, 就大叫有前面有一个大冰山呐、啊。好，这时候 Titanic 就撞上了这一座很大的冰山。嗯 ，Five sections of the hull filled up with water and the ship started sinking. So when we say the hull filled up with water, that means basically water slowly started. The water level started rising and、mm. rising until the whole thing is full of water. So、mm. you can say you fill something up, like you say a glass is filled up with juice,、mm. or you can say the toilet is filled up with water. 嗯，没错。所以呢，总共在当时装上了冰山之后呢，这个船体有。五个区域，就像老师刚才讲的，慢慢的、慢慢，这个水就进来了，渗入进来了，所以慢慢的就充满了这五个区域，全部都是水，水这样子慢慢的升上去，所以 fill up with 就是充满的意思。而且呢，当然我们刚才有提到嘛，这个 Titanic 它就只能两三个区域允许你可以呃，就是有水进来，它还是可以 keep floating。可是现在有五个区块全部都充满了水，当然。这个船就开始慢慢的下沉了
Sadly, there weren't enough lifeboats for everyone to escape. So lifeboats, nowadays especially, we have them on every ship, right? Mm. Lifeboats are, are for emergencies. So if the ship is sinking or if there's a fire or you need to get off the boat, lifeboats are smaller boats that you can take to escape. But it said there weren't enough lifeboats for everyone to escape because back then they didn't have rules or laws that said you had to have them. 没错，老师讲到一个很重要的重点，就是在那个时候，每一艘船它可能没有一些很严格的规定，就是说你这么大的一艘船，有三个足球场这么大的船，你应该要具备多少台的这多少辆的这个救生艇？可能当时没有这个严格的规定，所以他为了这个船体看起来比较好看。然后 passenger 不会觉得这个船看起来丑丑的，所以他没有放足够的救生艇，这就是一个很大的一个错误了。所以让当呃当时很难过的就是呢，因为就是没有足够的这个救生艇，而且是每一个人哈，对每一个人来说可以逃出去，因为没有救生艇，所以你要怎么逃？你只能跳到水里面去了。嗯 ，Over fifteen hundred died as the Titanic slowly sunk into the icy waters below. Again, you can say fifteen hundred or one thousand five hundred. It's the same thing, but basically, it says that they slowly sunk. Right? It sunk is the past tense of sink, so something sinks or something sunk. It already happened. It sunk.、Mm-hmm. 没错，所以当时呢，总共有超过一千五百名的人，哈，这个死亡了。那么，尤其是 as 这边的 as 是 when， 就是当时呢 ，the Titanic 是慢慢的，哈，这个向下沉，它不是突然的这样子蹦，因为它那个船体很重，所以它不可能是砰一声整个沉到海里面，它就是慢慢的、慢慢看哪边的水越多，它那个地方会下降。所以电影上我们就看到它是后来变成一个直立的状态，这样子沉到那个海。里面去，好，所以下面呢，通通都是非常非常冰冷的海水啊，好，在 below 就在这个慢慢的沉下去。Only about seven hundred passengers survived. So when they survived, basically means that they lived. Everyone else died, but these seven hundred passengers survived. 没错，所以你看，一千五五百个人都这个死亡了。当时呢，大约只有七百个乘客 survive， 就是幸免于难，就是还活下来。Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, it ends on a sad note. But we'll talk more in the second paragraph. 好的。All right, let's start with the second paragraph now. The disaster shocked people. And made them question the relationship between humans and technology. So here they use the word "shocked." Shocked in this case means that it surprised people, it startled people, and in this case, it's a disaster that shocked people. So you, you can say a person shocked somebody else, like. I shocked Bernice、mm. with my scary expression. <laughs> right,、okay. you shocked somebody. But you can also say an event, something that happened, shocked people. So you could say a disaster shocked people, or you can say an accident shocked people. Something shocked. Someone. 没错，所以这个 shock 就是让人家觉得非常的震惊，就说哎呀，怎么会这个样子？会突然吓到。所以不管你的主词是一个一个人或一件事都可以。好，他就说了这一场的这个灾难呢，当时啊震惊了许多的人，而且就让这些人开始 question。这边的 question 当动词，就不是我们讲的 question number one， question number two， 不要。他就开始质疑了，质疑什么东西呢？就是哎，当时的人，因为我们知道这个造船的还是人嘛，那要我们要造这么大一艘的船，一定是需要一些科技的运用。那这时候他们就认为，人跟科技之间的关系到底产生什么样的一个一个改变，或者什么样的一个状况问题出现，他们就开始质疑了。Investigations were conducted to figure out why this tragedy happened. So here they said investigations were conducted. An investigation is when you're looking into something. So、mm. whenever something bad occurs, like a crime, maybe someone died or someone is missing, the police 
do an investigation. And we don't usually say they do an investigation, we say they conduct an investigation. So it's the verb that goes with investigation. They conduct an investigation, which means they are talking to witnesses, they're looking for evidence, they're figuring out why something happened or how something happened. 没错，既然你要去质疑呢人跟科技的关系，那当然我们就要仔细的去调查一下。所以，当我们中文想去做调查或进行调查，我们的那个动词就是用这个词叫 conduct。所以当时呢，就做了许许多多的这样的一些调查去进行，主要的目的就是为了想要去查明、去了解为什么这次发生这样的一个悲剧。啊，怎么会有这么大的一个悲剧，死了这么多人呢？所以当然要好好的去调查一下。This led to engineering improvements and new safety laws. So engineering, right, is basically the main field in which you study building things, right? So engineers deal with. Uh, not only ships, but also airplanes、mm. and trains, a lot of modes of transportations, and even with computer engineers, right?、Yeah. There's engineers for everything.、Mm -hmm. So here, it said that it led to engineering improvements. So improvements are things that we change to make better. So、nice、an improvement on a computer. Uh, means a newer, nicer, faster computer. 嗯哼，好的。那接下来呢，就是因为这一连串的调查呢，所以导致了什么东西呢？就是工程的改进。当然嘛，我们要从错误里面学习，一定是我们从这一次的这样的一个灾难里面去学到一些更新的技术，避免再造成这样子的一个这么大的灾难。还有第二个呢，就是要有新的安全法令要出来了，就是因为发生了灾难，所以我们必。必须一定要立严格的法令，才不会造成之后还有这样的悲剧产生。However, researchers realized they couldn't eliminate one risk factor:、mm. human error. So eliminate means to get rid of or to end something. So you can say eliminate a person. If、uh, it's a kind of a way of saying that you get rid of them, whether it's killing them, <laughs> or、uh, if you're playing a game, maybe someone is eliminated. That means they're out of the game,、mm. that they lost. So、mm. eliminate. 没错，所以这个字叫做排除的意思哈。可是呢，在当时，即使你立了法了，然后你也做了一些工程的改进，但是呢，这一些 researchers 就是这些研究人员，他们还是了解一件事情，就是我们永远没有办法呢去排除这样的一个。风险的因素，什么因素？就是人，因为人都会犯错。你再完美的这些法令，或者是这些科技的东西去搭配，只要人为的因素放下去了，那你就是会产生错误。In the case of the Titanic, the captain's unwise decision to travel through an area filled with icebergs led to the disaster. So again, we see the phrase. Filled with. Earlier we said filled up with,、mm -hmm. and here again we see filled with. So in this case, an area, so a place that was filled with icebergs. That means there's so many icebergs in the area. In this case,、uh, the ocean, this area had icebergs, and the unwise decision. Clearly, they think it was not a good idea、mm. to travel through that area filled with icebergs. 没错，所以当时呢，发生这样的一个人为的这个错误呢，就是因为我们知道一艘船就是船长，好在负责掌船的，所以就在呃 Titanic 这样的一个情况来说，当时的这个船长他做了一个很不明智的一个决定。这个船长的名字，如果我没记错，叫做 Edward Smith。OK， 他做的这个不明智的这个决定呢，就是我还是要穿越这些冰山。他明明知道前面有 iceberg warnings， 就是人家一直不断的传来很多冰山的一些警告，说，哎，可能在什么什么呃区域的地方、水域的地方会有冰山。但是他为了让他这一次的首航能够非常的成功，所以他不顾这一些啊、呃、有冰山的警告，他一直的不断的往前开，而且甚至还 speed up， 还加速那个船。所以呢。导致怎么样呢？这个地方明明就是充满着这么多的冰山，因此就只能导致这样的一个灾难发生了。Yeah, it's really unfortunate, but we'll find out more in paragraph three. 好的。
All right, last paragraph. So, over 100 years later, we are still learning painful lessons from the Titanic. So when we say a painful lesson, it doesn't necessarily mean physically painful, mm. like it's not hitting us or poking us, but it means painful in our hearts, right? Because so many people died, it's painful to think about. You think about how many families lost their loved ones, and it's painful in your heart and mind. 没错，所以你看，即使过了一百年之后，好、啊、，Titanic 这样的一个惨剧呢，只要我们想起来，我们还是觉得啊，很悲痛、很痛苦的意思。所以他说，我们依然呢，要从这样子的一个痛苦的、惨痛的这个教训里面呢，我们呢，依然可以学习到一些东西。Oil spills, nuclear accidents, and space shuttle explosions have all been caused by simple mistakes. So explosions basically means when something explodes or it just bursts.、Mm -hmm. So it mean in this case they mean space shuttles. So if anyone remembers from a while ago when space shuttles were still fairly new,、mm -hmm. they had some terrible explosions. Right, that means that they burst. The people in them died, and basically it was caused by a simple mistake. 嗯，没错，所以这边就讲了，我们刚才讲的 Titanic 这么大一艘船都会沉沉到海底里面，因为一些人为的因素，其实就是一个很简单的一个决定，但是这个决定可能是不明智的。那这边呢，有接下来举了几个例子，第一个，比如说石油的这个漏油事件，还有呢这样子一个核能的这个事故，甚至呢太空梭爆炸这些事件。其实为什么会发生这么多的灾难呢？都是被怎么样 caused by， 都是被什么导致而成的呢？就是这些简单的错误。As in the case of the Titanic, these advanced technologies gave people the false belief that they couldn't fail. So when something is advanced, right? The opposite of advanced would be beginner or easy, right? Advanced means it's Harder, it's more complex or complicated. So you might have levels: beginner, intermediate, advanced. There's、mm -hmm. different ways of saying it. Maybe easy, medium, hard. Hard is the same thing as advanced. So advanced technologies means that they're very complicated. They're complex technologies. But just because technologies are advanced. Doesn't mean that they can't fail or they can't go wrong. 没错，所以这边的 as 呢，我们学到它另外一个意思呢，是表示一个介系词，就像是就如同，就如同这个 Titanic 这样的一个案件来说呢，他说因为呢这些先进的一些技术，刚才老师讲了 advanced 就是比较好一点、比较高端一点的这样的一个技术呢。给予人们其实反倒是更怎么样呢？更假象的一种一个呃想法，就是更一个误以为你觉得好像不会这样，所以 false 就是假的 ，believe 就是这样的一个信仰一个信念，就认为说、嗯、没关系啊，我们现在科技这么好，对不对？怎么可能会有这样的错误呢？啊，这个错误就是 they couldn't fail， 我绝对不会失败，我绝对不会发生错误，但这都是假象。As a result. They were not able to avoid the disaster. So to avoid something is to stay away from, or it can be to prevent. Right? You kind of don't want it to happen. So if I can avoid a person, maybe、uh, if I see Bernice coming this way, I will avoid her by going the other way.、Mm, I wouldn't do that. 不想看到我，所以他就 avoid. I wouldn't do that, but. You can avoid a person, or in this case, avoid a disaster. Right? You want to not make any mistakes, so you can avoid disaster. 没错，所以这边呢 ，as a result 就是因此 ，therefore 的意思。那他们呢就不能够避免这样的一个灾难，因为你觉得科技可以帮你解决这些问题。那如果你都是这样子认为的话呢，那你就无法避免，真的还是可能还会有灾难在发生的。The Titanic tragedy. Is still a reminder that no matter how impressive a technology is, poor decision making or planning can still lead to horrible consequences. So, oftentimes we will have a saying that says, "You have consequences for your actions."、Mm. So, consequences 
basically means the results of your actions or what happens because of something. So,、mm. for example, if you do not study for your exam, you will suffer the consequences of a poor exam grade. You will suffer the consequences of not knowing what's on the test.、Mm. So, consequences is what happens. As a result of something. 没错，这个 consequence 通常是指比较不好的方面的一些造成的结果啦。所以像老师刚才的举例，就是你自食其果，你不念书，你当然分数就考得不好啦。你不听我们老师的讲解，你当然英文就不会变得更好。所以要认真的听我们的讲解。好的，我们看一下最后这个句子。最后这个句子就是说呢 ，Titanic 这样的一个悲剧呢，到了现在依然呢是我们的一个 reminder， 就是一个提醒的东西。这个 reminder 就是告诉我们呢 ，No matter how impressive， 不管你今天这个东西多么的让人家觉得哇印象深刻，多。棒这个东西就是我们的 technology， 不管科技以后变得多么的棒，我们也知道科技一定是越变越好，越变越棒。可是有一件事情你绝对不能忽略的就是，如果你做了比较糟糕的一些决定。好，那么或者是一些计划的话呢，依然有可能会导致像 Titanic 这样子可怕的后果。所以不能因为科技变得好，我们就认为啊，所有的事情我都不用再检查了，我也不会出错了，那是不可能的事情。Right. So let's take a moment to take a break, and then we'll go over the vocab. 好的。All right, vocab. So, crashed into, 撞上 filled up with or filled with, 都是指充满 Investigations were conducted or conduct an investigation, 进行调查 Engineering, 工程的 Eliminate, 消除 Explosions, 爆炸 Advanced, 先进的 Consequences, 不好的后果 And that's all we have today. So we'll see you at the next lesson. Bye. Bye.